he's looked wet, really in control of his game. Being able to up the tempo when he's needed to. That said, Targo and Lindan have only played each other once previously in ranking tournaments. And the win-loss record is one in favour of Targo. But that's a little misleading, isn't it, Ian? Because the only time they met was in the semi-final of the French Super Series event just last month. And Lindan was a game and 18-15 up when he retired injured. So the match wasn't actually completed. But just listen to the crowd as they announce that the next match on court will feature the mega star of Chinese badminton. Lindan. Surprising that Lindan making his first ever appearance at Super Series Finals. Three previous Super Series Finals have taken place. Tago, black or green? green. He calls green. Tossed the coin, David Craig, our umpire from Scotland. Of course, Lindan actually seeded three here at the Super Series finals because he finished the year after the 12 Super Series events as number three on the Super Series list. Chen Long, of course, was the number two ranked player on that list. But, of course, Lin Dan is the number two player in the world at the moment on the world ranking list. So, Lin Dan, 28-year-old from Fuzhou, the capital city of Fujian province. Nine and five, great win, loss record for the year, and that translates into eight finals and six titles from those eight finals. Kanichi Targo, number twelve in the world rankings, but number six on the Super Series ranking, having competed in all twelve of the Super Series events. Great supporter of the Super Series. No, there's <coughs> confirming. I was telling you just a moment ago that the head-to-head -head encounters... And Ian, I think it's a little bit surprising that they've only met once previously. Yes, when you look at the results of Targo over the last 12 months, he's improved dramatically. World rankings gone up. You would have expected them to have met more than just once. A bit of a contrast in there. Career titles one, Lindan 46, Kanichi Targo three, and not even a Grand Prix title. Three international event titles and the international tournaments a tier lower than the Grand Prix. opened his campaign at the Super Series Finals here. Yuchi Tano with a wonderful win over the former World and Olympic Chairman Taufik Hidiat. 21-7 in the deciding game. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Kenichi Pago, Japan. And on my right, Lin Dan, China. Service over. One. 
fluent movement at the moment. Two laps. Struggling in the cold conditions to completely warm up. Ooh. Good shot from Targo. Yeah, nice aggressive start from the youngster. Three, love. And um, just feeling his way into the game. Happy to play high to the rear court, give Targo a little bit of time. And so far, Targo's taken full advantage. Beating him twice with that cross court forehand smash so far. Service nice over. But what would imagine that uh, Lindan will be pretty motivated? win this match. Two reasons for that, presumably. He will want to end top of the group Two. and therefore in all probability avoid meeting the world number one Lee Chong Wei in the semi-finals. And secondly, if he was to win then of course his teammate Chen Long definitely qualifies for the semi-finals. Well, there's two very good reasons why well, I'm sure that he'll be keen Hold to find on. his form sooner rather than later. Good attack again from Targo. Intercepting the shuttle early up that forehand wing of the court. Getting up early, this time going for the body smashed in centre. As you say, Lindan not quite at his fluent best yet. Feeling his way into this game. like that just to play himself in get his range Good, that's 
four. Not correct, I don't think. That was good net from Targo. Went for the big smash, and then down a little bit off balance. Please, Thought please. he'd pushed it out the side, yeah, and I think he had. Yeah. Well, the problem for the umpire is that it's the far side of the court from where he's sitting, and it's desperately difficult for him to see where a clear error has been made. But in my humble opinion, that was a clear error. Yeah, he's a long way away from it, though. Difficult for him. Serve a silver. Five, six. Yeah, it's the tight spinning net shot that forced the short lift. Yeah, six, he's playing well on the net so far, Targo. He's getting in early, taking his chances. Good smash too, 168 miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah, many many singles players hitting that hard. It's normally the men's doubles players that are up above the 270 mark. But in the end, this precision was just too much for him. Seven, six. He's decided that's going to be a strategy to try and get in and take the shuttle early and go for the really tight spinning net shots. When you do that, you're going to make one or two mistakes. Seven, seven, eight. Defending that, using the full width of the court. Targo was able to defend when tight to his forehand wing, seven. but then hit down straight down the other line, couldn't deal with it. move much better started to be more positive yeah just worked his way in didn't he nice and solid to start with well, a little surprise while the coaches come on to court at the game interval for Lin Dan Cargo's coaches have remained in their seats that's very odd yeah, he's got two coaches in the coaching chairs. Neither of them are going to talk to him. I don't quite understand that, I have to say. Well, 
Yeah, you can see the two coaches there. No, nope, they're not even looking at him. 11, 7. Uh, but Lindell, as we were saying, worked Play. his way into the game. A couple of steady, solid rallies, one pace just to get moving early on. And then gradually, as the game went on, started to mix his pace up. A few changes of direction. Good net again from Targo. It's a super lift from Lindan. And yeah, he's just forced it out the side. Ran out of ideas. Played a great net. You well, normally yeah. expect to get a short so. lift from that, but Lindan able to control the spinning shuttle. A great length to the rear court. way back now, Targo. That's a good shot. <laughs> and that. Oh, and that's the end the he's lost the point. Well, two shots there that could well have won the point against most of the players in the world. Lindan equal to it. We'll see how he picks this up. That's super agility. There he is. How quickly he's back on his feet. The next shot, able to find a winner. needs to be accurate to get through this Lindan defence. This time just a little off balance and just pushes it out the side. shots from wherever he is on the court just cannot tell which way it's going to go I think no. you may have got him a little out of position or off balance but he's still managed to play anything yeah he can change the direction but he can change the pace so easily as well that fixes his opponent quite deep in the defensive position and with that one he just brought it down steeper and slower from Targo staying with him Lindan there extending the rally being less aggressive Nine. Targo 15. not being tempted into taking any wrist risks Service 
Line judge. Line judge. Line judge. Well, court needs to be mopped. Kuchi Targo, end of the court. Gives both players the opportunity to tell that. Thank you. It was interesting what you were saying to me the other day, Ian, about one of the other Japanese youngsters in the women's singles, 16, Sato Sayaka Sato, saying how she really needed to develop and improve as a player rather than play so many tournaments. And, you know, having watched Targo over the last six months or so, you know, he burst onto the world stage when he reached the All England final uh, uh, a year ago, 2010. And I think he has worked on his skills. He's he's had a period of time where he didn't get the results that a lot of people were expecting, but I think he has developed his game over that period of time and therefore his potential to go even further. I mean, he's got beautiful skills. He's struggling That's sometimes to, to keep up with Lindan, but we're already seeing today some a wonderful array of shots. Yeah, he's a very okay. talented player. 17. But he went through the same phase as uh, Sato's going through at the moment in ladies' singles, where uh, he played a lot, a lot of tournaments when he burst onto the scene. He played at international level, Grand Prix, Super Series, you know, to get a lot of matches under his belt. And he went through a very bad patch, a little bit like Sato is at the moment. She's going through a little bad patch at the moment. But he's a good example, would be a good example for her to look at. He's worked his way through that. He's raised his level, he's raised his world ranking, and now he's playing less events. Gives him more time to concentrate on his skills work and his physical preparation for these bigger events. Yeah. That's a great shot. That's super. Been met there. Service over. Eleven. Nineteen. simple mistake but you just don't 20. know what Lindan's going to do you know Game he's got point. all the deceptive 11. net shots and then suddenly flicks one with no real preparation to the rear court and looks like he made an easy mistake but really you just don't know where the shuttle's going Dan converts on his first game point opportunity. First game won by 21, Dan, 11. 11. 19 minutes. It's a very different game to that of the one we witnessed in Paris. Well, again, it's a very odd coaching break from the, the Japanese side. 
They bought a clean shirt on for him, gave him the clean shirt. Shirt. Targo changed it and they'd walked off and he chased after them to have a word with them. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that these are actually his coaches, I have to say. Certainly not the national, not members of the national coaching team. I mean, Targo, he's done nothing really wrong in that first game. He's played some great badminton. Some of the rallies have been of the highest level. But uh, yeah. Dan looks in really confident Lee form this week. Mm -hmm. He can play fast, he can play slow, he can play deceptive. And he's mixing his game up really 26. well. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Of course, next, someone Lin Dan will try and become the first man in the history of the Olympic badminton competition. Retain a second game. singles title. It's been done in the women's Love singles, been done in the women's Wait. doubles, and it's been done in the mixed doubles. Gurfei Gujun, I think, will be first ever to retain Olympic titles. I'm just trying to think of any. Have any of the men's singles winners actually tried to defend it? Yes. In a lot of instances, they've retired afterwards. No, well, we've got, uh, of course, Hideyat. Yep, yep, good point. Certainly, the first, the first three that won it didn't, didn't def try to defend, weren't at the next games. Of course, if Hideyat does qualify for London, it will be his fourth Olympics. Yeah. Two. It's incredible longevity at this level. Same for Gaida. Yeah, that's true. Play. attack that one. Yeah, he's just mixing it one. up though, isn't he? Just Three. playing some different shots. He looks supremely confident at the moment. direction, get his racket on the shuttle but couldn't control it. Four, one. so easy. It's a difficult Five, shot. Two. Oh. That's good. The 
Thiago sticking to his task. And he gets opportunities, he's not hesitating, he's going for it, staying positive. Not getting down. Shows good aggression here. Getting in quickly behind the smash to finish from the front court. Good play. Targo. That's good. And another example is really sticking well to his task here, Targo. A couple of times in this second game already, he's been beaten all ends up by great shots from Lindan, but he's not he's not got down, he's not let his head go down. Sticking to his task. Playing one point at a time. to start breaks his movement pattern here we'll see it early fix Six. quick change Five. of direction sending Targo the wrong way at will. Well, oh dear, what's going on here? I think he's calling for the tournament doctor. Yeah, a little plaster or bandage needed for his finger, I think. We don't want any more withdrawals from Lindan. It's happened six times in the past 12 months. Part way through a tournament, including the last time he played against Targa. And I'm absolutely certain it isn't a major injury worry, Ian. I'm sure it's just a, a little plaster required. But what is the rule if you've much already qualified or if you've definitely qualified for the semi-finals and you pulled out of a, a last group match are you allowed to play in the semi-finals no i don't think no no it's a withdrawal from the tournament it has it's the same rule as a straight knockout but once you once you're deemed to be injured on court that's the Seven, end of your tournament if you can't five. complete a match Play. Now, does that also apply to doubles players? So if you pull out of a, a women's Service doubles, over. you can't then compete the next day in the mixed doubles. Six. It could conceivably Seven. be poorly, a bit of food poisoning no, or something like that. No, I think like it's, a, it, it's the event. I'm so it's sure the discipline. It's the, event. it's the discipline, yes. Right, yep. Just to clarify that. Just that 
that side. Targo gets back on level terms again. And a really dogged second game here. Really sticking to his task. I've got a feeling just in the corner of his eye, he saw Lindan had read it and was already there. Yeah. That's what caused the mistake. Oh, good defence. up here and look at that that creates the angle the steep angle Targo just can't deal with well, not as fast as smash so far in this match and not as fast as his opponent thank you but it was the angle that was so devastating nine seven five And a good return, stepped in, took it early. points down for the third time in this game and he's dragged it back all square again time so far that there's been a little hint of danger or catching up or maybe even going in front then Lindan just seems to up his pace up his intensity another couple of points or so because he had worked so hard in that rally. Ooh. Was he in? Oh, that was close. I've seen those call both ways. stay in their seats I think he has actually spoken to them but you must not try and influence the line it seems though he's only talking about the line call though I think
11. Nine. You'll see a little acceleration now from Linda after the mid game interval. Idea, just trying to guide it down the line. And then was expecting the drop recovery. Just put a bit of extra pace on, 13, it, but just lost a bit of nine. precision. with that one. Ten, Read it, got up early, 14. just dragged it down into the top of the net. Eleven. Uh, played that net shot very well, Targo. Racket arm outstretched. Press the shuttle early. He gets in quickly behind it, just a little hot hold. A little hold. Breaks the movement pattern of Lindan. after making that error very telling he knows how important that rally was 15 12 Defensively, playing that backhand defence, I'm sure the shuttle had gone past him and still managed to be so accurate. 12.
Oh, that's just ridiculous. Well, unbelievable. Played a neck cord off a neck cord. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see a replay of this. That's the shot before. Yeah, I'm not going to see it. 19. Yeah. 12. Finally, Targo's resistance has been broken. Service over. Oh. 13. First time in the match. 19. Since that first three rallies that we've seen Lindan left stranded. Yeah, Targo took his chance. Saw Lindan was taking it late, gambled, brought his base forward. Lindan was nowhere near it. Evening, even more vital between Peter Gader and Lee Chong Wei. Neither of them will want Lin Dan in the semi final in this form. So there's confirmation of the score, confirmation that Lin Dan will top the group, and Chen Long will qualify also for the semi finals. 